Good morning. I'm going to be making dilly beans this morning and I picked these green beans yesterday from the garden and they've been washed and um, they're in the strainer now. They're pretty much all dried off. I'm going to cut them. I'll just take a few to show you what I'll do. It's going to take them like this and I'm going to just snip the ends like that till I get a whole bunch done. And then I'm going to put them in a jar, and I'll show you that procedure. And I'll read the recipe off, and it will also be in the description box below. So that's what I'm going to do. I might have to snip them up a little more, depending. Um, I've got the jars in the dishwasher, so they'd be all sterilized up. I'm using a, a quart jar with a large mouth. And what I'll do, I find, is I take the jar like this, and I just put the beans in like that. And then I build it as I go. So, we'll be back with more. Grab some sweet tea. Okay, here's the second phase of the um, dilly beans. And I want you to know that I'm using the recipe out of the Ball Blue Book. I've used this recipe for years. I'm sorry. I have to scoot down here. And it's on page 38 right here. So I'm going to read you the recipe. Two pounds of trimmed green beans, a fourth of a cup of salt, four heads of dill, four cl cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two and a half cups of vinegar, and two and a half cups of water. Now, I'm keeping my um, dill in the refrigerator until it's ready to go, and it will be right here. And this is dill from my garden. I have dill heads, and I got the dill fern, the, what they call the dill weed, right there. So the green beans are from my garden. They're all organic. This cayenne pepper here is from my garden. I just got done grinding it. It was last year's, all dried up good. This here is the garlic. And this here is the cannon salt. For anybody that doesn't know, these are lids that go on the jars. And these are the jar covers. And what you want to do is just finger tight when you screw it on. Now I got the brine going on the stove now, so I'm going to read you the rest. You're going to pack the beans lengthwise into the hot jars. These are already been sterilized and hot. To each pint, a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one clove of garlic. If it's a real small garlic, I'll put two in. Um, and a little head of dill. Combine remaining ingredients and bring to a boiling. Pour boiling hot water over the beans, leaving about a quarter of an eight, a uh, quarter of a inch from the head space. Oh, I don't know. I like to go like in between right here, right in there. And um, you also want to use something. I usually use a chopstick. And I go like that to get my air bubbles out. And um, then you want to water bath them. If you process pints or quarts, it's 10 minutes in a boiling water bath. And that should yield around 4 pints. I have doubled my brine recipe now. So I'm going to take you through and do a few up for you so you can see. So we'll be coming right back to the next stage here. Okay, we're going to do a complete step here. We're going to put the beans in the jar, just like this. I'm going to stuff them in. Takes a little bit of time just to get them in. When I was doing the rest of them, I was sitting down and I was putting them in one at a time. But now that I know the pressure's on here, 
I've got the canner going to get heated up right now and I have got the vinegar and water heating as well. It's not quite ready yet so I wanted to show you a complete step on filling. And what I do is once I do that, I sometimes go like this and I roll it to jiggle them around. That's just what I like to do. Just to fit them all in and sometimes it's like a puzzle. You just kind of have to work it, work it to um, get it in and figure a spot for it. I've got these packed pretty good. And the garlic is in already. Got to remember I put the garlic in first. Then I'll fill these. Then we'll put the salt and the cayenne pepper in. And don't forget, you need to use cannon salt. I used cayenne pepper from my garden that I grew last year. And I, um, I just ground it this morning. And that will be the end of it. And I do have some growing in the garden now. So um, that will replace it. I guess I grew a good amount. Okay. I'm going to tap it down again. Then I'm going to look for spaces. Like right there and there's a space. So try to fill up as much as you can. It's like a, it's like a puzzle. Just keep on a going. There's one right there. Just get it in there. If we can put it over like that. There. Now you want to, when you fill it, a fourth is right here. I do mine in between just to give it a little bit more space. And actually when I'm done, I will show you what it says in the can, whoops, in the canning book. And I have that right here. So you can see right there. That is a fourth. This is a cannon jar. And it tells you the spaces right there. It says fill to a fourth. And I fill in between. Okay. This is getting there. So what we're going to do next is... Whoops, that might be a little bit too big here. Let's see if we got a space for it. <sighs> might not. So it's like a puzzle. I got a few left here. And the ones that are left, I will maybe have them for supper tonight. Or I may just gift them on to my dad or to my son and his family. They like it, and I always give them green beans out of the garden. I always share what I have with anybody. And if there's a family need, if there's a family in town, which we have had in the past when I had my greenhouse and my um, selling produce business, I would gift things to people that I knew that was families in need. Okay. Looks like it's packed pretty good. I'm pushing it down. All I got is these big, long, fat ones left. I'm trying to see. Ah, maybe we can poke one in right there. See if I can snake it down. There, I think I did. Pretty good. Can See if I can push this over. Sometimes I'll go in and make a, do that. Just push it over. Or push that down or push it around. Just to give me a little room. Just a little thing that I do. Doesn't say to do that in the canon book. That's just uh, Maniac Grammy's way of doing it with a twist. Okay. If I can get this one in, I'm going to call it good because it's pretty packed. <sighs> I'm a pushing. Yeah, that'll be good right there. Okay, once that's all done, we're going to um, add the cayenne pepper and the salt and the dill. And I'm going to take the dill out of the refrigerator now. Like I said... 
I like to keep the dill nice and cool. But we're going to do that at the very end. We're going to going to put the salt in first and that's a fourth of a teaspoon and make sure it's cannon salt. It's going to go like that. Pop it in. Whoops. I always try to have a rhythm here which way I'm going. Just like that. There. We've got that. This is the cayenne pepper that I grew. Doesn't it look pretty? It smells amazing. It's very, very strong. So we want a teaspoon. It's going to go like that. One in each jar. Wow. Very strong. I'd say this is these dilly beans are going to have a little kick. Whew. <coughs> Sorry if I get coughing. There. <coughs> Sorry. Digs your breath away. It's pretty potent. And this here has already been washed. And this is some dill. We'll stick the dill weed in there like that. Stick some in there like that. It says three sprigs. But it all depends how big your sprigs are. And mine have pretty much a lot on them. Oh, that one didn't have so much. We'll just put it in like that. And some like that. And don't ask me how I did that, but come out pretty good. Just like that. So then I'm going to take this part, the head of the dill. We did the weed. And I'm just going to pull off a few like that. And I'm going to stick them in. Just a few off like that. Stick them in the jar. Oh, my family likes dill, dilly beans. Like them a lot. I've got some that's going to two different colleges and two different homes so I'll be making more than this but this will be my first batch and we got still quite a bit of dill so I'm just going to go back and do a little here and a little here and a little bit there a little bit there and a little bit there a little bit will do ya and a little bit there. Okay. And then I'm going to take, where is it? Here. I'm going to move this over. A chopstick. And we're going to poke it down once I put the water solution in. And I'm going to get all that off the stove. So I will be back. I don't want to burn anything. Okay, we're back. This is the two and a half cups of vinegar and two and a half cups of water to a bowl. Now I have doubled the recipe because I've made quite a bit and I may have to make one more, not sure. So what you want to do at this point is you want to ladle it in the jars just like this. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make some more but if I do, so be it. I do. And do 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 burrow. Make sure I get it right there. Stick that stem in right there of dill. Get it when I push it down with my chopstick. A little bit more, not much, because I have a you can go a little higher, but I don't want anything poking up. Just like that. Oh, it smells really good. Vinegar and dill and the cayenne pepper. Well, at least now the cayenne pepper is not taking my breath away like it was. I'm just going to go like that. 
I don't want to bore everybody, so let me hurry here. I think I'm going to have to make an, at least one more batch so I can get all my jars done and done and in. That's no problem at all. We'll use what we got here and then I'll make some more. And I got my lids going right now. I'm water, um, I'm heating the water for my lids right now. And this will probably be the last one I'll do and I'll put the lids on and the rings and show you. And the next time you see it, they'll be taken out of the canner. But I will put the rings on in the lids so you can see how I do it. In case nobody has ever canned before, I want them to see and understand. And this is just going to do this one here. So doubling the recipe, I could have used just a tad more, but that's fine, just the way it is, these two. But it's, it's right there. Most of them I felt to about right there, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is get the pan off the stove that's going that I'm going to put the lids in. So I want to have five lids. These are the wide mouth lids right here. One, two, three, four, and five going in. Just like that. Let them sit there for a minute. This here is a chopstick that I like to use to poke things down. So you're going to go in, if you can, you want to poke down throw. Try to get any air bubbles out you can. My jars are packed pretty tight. Yeah, that one's down good. And that one I found a hole in. That one I did. And that one I did. Just make sure everything's poked down good. Just like that. That dill down there. So once you get done poking everything down, the fluid's going to come up a little bit more as well. Okay. And before we do that, just so you see, I'm just going to do one so I don't bore you. You always want a clean cloth, and you always should start out with clean hands. I wash my hands throughout all the time in between. You want a clean cloth because you want to wipe that rim really good in case you get something on it. You don't want nothing on that. So you wipe it real good like that. And you take one of these, the lids, and you stick the lid on top. Then you take a ring and you just want to put it finger tight, just like that, just finger tight, and there you have it right there, and it's going in the canner for 10 minutes, and I'm going to do that to the rest of them, and I'll show you, so have another cup of sweet tea. Okay, there you go, folks. Dilly beans all done. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up, please. I can be found on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. You never know what's going to be on my videos. God bless.